Hi, welcome back to another KI Memories video tutorial. This week I'm going to be explaining how to make these cute pinwheels that are on this layout. Um, it's a really simple process, just a little bit easier to explain on video. So the first thing we're going to do is cut a square. Um, for the pinwheels on this layout, I did them in various sizes, um, probably from four inches down to about two and a half inches. So you can make them whatever size you want. This one I'm gonna show as an example is a four inch. So I just cut a four inch square with the trimmer. And now we're going to cut in towards the center with your scissors. I put my thumb in the middle to remind myself not to cut all the way through the square. So you'll just stop right before your thumb and and do it from each corner. So you're cutting from the corner towards the center and stopping all four corners. Okay, now what we're gonna do is fold the pinwheel. It's really easy. You're going to fold in one corner from each side. And I usually add a bit of adhesive as I go just to help hold everything in place. It makes it a little bit easier. So one corner and then skip a corner. Make sure when you fold it in that you are overlapping enough of the tip so that a brad can go through it. Because if you um, don't put enough, then when you poke your brad through, it'll rip and the corner won't stay hooked. So use your paper piercer, poke through the pinwheel in the center, and then you can add a mini brad. You could also use the mini brad to attach the pinwheel to your layout. On mine, I just used the mini brad to hold the pinwheel together and then used regular paper adhesive to hold the pinwheel to the layout. You can see that this pinwheel has a little bit of dimension. Um, if you don't like dimension, you can fix that very easily by just flattening out the pinwheel. And it's still cute, just a little bit flatter. And here's the final layout once again. Thanks for joining me for a KI Memories video tutorial.